I think it's about time that we talk about this take about how you don't know the real ReZero until episode 18, right? And we've seen episode 18. A lot of people enjoy gatekeeping and I'll explain that thought process. But first of all, maybe there's like a separate video. Maybe the author specifically mentioned that the true ReZero doesn't start till episode 18. If that's the case, right? If that's truly how the author intended the story to be, then I concede. I, ac I accept that. But here's the thing. What does it mean that ReZero doesn't start at episode 18? A lot of people use this talking point from specifically episode 18, where Rem says, Subaru, we can do it you know, all over again, right? We can start from zero. And that is the entire premise, I think, of how the title got dropped. Let's start here, right? Let's start here, she says. From zero, she says, right? And that's not really actual logic on how the real story starts here because think about it what about the last 17 episodes if you're even gonna mention how this episode is that important and this is like the actual beginning that everything up to is a prologue like how does that make any sense is it a prologue every time he fucking dies then regresses and then like resets and has the motivations to build back again no because all the shit that happened before is actual core story too None of that shit matters. I think that this take is an ingenuine take just meant to piss people off without actual critical thinking. ReZero started on episode 1. Everything mattered since episode 1. This episode 18 mattered because of all the shit that led up to it. You cannot tell me that I haven't witnessed ReZero until episode 18. I think that a lot of people obviously has good memories of specific episodes like episode 18 right different ones where it's just like oh my god this is the best moment ever therefore if you haven't seen this you've never watched ReZero that's just a flat out lie I've seen uh, 17 episodes before leading up to this all the shit that was leading up to this was important for the story as well and I think that it's just a bunch of neckbeards that wants to gatekeep their favorite show and somehow feel the sense of superiority that they know ReZero more than you, someone that's never seen it and says, <laughs> this guy thought episode three was good. Wait till he realizes episode 18 is the fucking beginning of the show. Listen, I guarantee you, no one thinks you're cool. Everything's your fucking cringe. You will be farmed and made fun of and I will make m money off of you. That is the most gatekeepy shit possible. Like if you want to make some actual fucking friends, if you want, to have people to like look at your favorite series and love it and adore it. This kind of gatekeeping behavior doesn't do anything. This is just a behavior of sweaty fucking neckbeards that's never accomplished anything in their lives that clings on to huge IPs and fan bases like ReZero, reads ahead of the material, then feels the superiority complex that because you know more that you can gatekeep this ReZero experience from anime only that's just starting it. So cringe, so stupid, but hey, if the author literally said, up until episode 18, it's some prologue shit, it didn't matter, and episode 18 is the real ReZero sign, okay, I will concede. But motherfuckers are also saying, <laughs> you think episode 18 is the real ReZero? No. The finale of season 2 is with a real prologue ends. It's like, shut the fuck up. Until I actually see prologue ends in the anime that the author intended to do, you're capping. You're capping. You know it. See you next time.